development. Uh, you're very welcome, Sylvia. Now, recently, MTN Uganda went live with the 5G network services. Can you walk us through um, uh, more about this groundbreaking achievement, if you may? Well, I'll be brief. Uh, basically, I think uh, we have been listening to our customers. And Kasumba, I hope you're one of our customers. Huh? <laughs> and the feedback that our customers have been giving us is... Uh, they want faster speeds. Uh, speed is good um, in terms of uh, providing our customers with the experiences that they want as they celebrate their passions, uh, whether it's connecting to their families, connecting their businesses, uh, connecting industries and industrializing uh, industries. Um, and what we have been able to achieve today, which we actually announced today in the morning together with my team, uh, was bringing a historic what we define as, as a historic moment, because it's definitely an evolution in terms of how people will consume data going forward. And this is the introduction of 5G. At its very simplest, uh, is basically saying that whatever speeds you have been enjoying um, consuming on 4G, you will now be able to get them at least 50x higher than what you were consuming before because of the power of 5G. Obviously, you need to have a 5G device to be able to enjoy this, but this is really revolutionary because it will change the way we not only consume data, but just the power of what it can be able to deliver in terms of the different experiences that consumers and businesses are looking to have. Uh, uh, Sylvia, you ask if I'm a customer. Yes, I am a 772431. That tells you how long I've been on the network. Now, going back to this, uh, now that you're the first telecom to bring 5G to Uganda, how are you enabling innovation in uh, Uganda's telecom sector? Uh, we have done a lot uh, with the team in terms of uh, enabling innovation, um, and um, but all innovation is, in, is is determined by the type of connectivity and the type of services that you have. What will we be able to do with 5G? A couple of uh, months ago, I think in the month of April, we were at Hima Cement in Kasese, and we were demonstrating uh, to uh, the team there what is the power of 5G in terms of enabling them to be able to digitize their operations, what they can do to be able to deliver a lot more efficiency in terms of how they track the business, how they deliver learning, uh, how they track how the manufacturing plant is operating. Uh, there are also a lot of opportunities that we see in the oil and gas sector using this 5G connectivity. And for our everyday consumers who just want uh, the, co the ability to be able to enjoy the content that they are consuming, uh, be it video content, entertainment content from the comfort of their home, they will now be able to do it in a way that allows them to be able to experience high definition quality as well as uh, faster uh, connectivity in terms of how they're able to consume. So there's a lot that can happen. These are the early days. In the future, you never know, we, can, we will actually be leveraging uh, 5G to be able to um, interact uh, in things like concerts uh, virtually without having to attend. You have seen holograms and how they are being used across uh, the Western world in terms of ensuring that people are transported virtually without having to go physically and have that whole experience without it being uh, sub-optimized. So there are very many different use cases. And I think for us, it's our work is to provide the connectivity and then enable our innov innovators to then begin to think about what are the different solutions that they can use uh, with this connectivity uh, to be able to deliver to the people of Uganda. So we are quite excited. Oh, oh, okay. And, and on, 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 on the side of uh, MBs and damage to the pocket, does 5G mean better service and certainly uh, faster consumption of MBs. Uh, we are worried about pff, gone. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. If you think about a Ferrari uh, and the speed at which a, a Ferrari moves and at which it consumes fuel, it's at a wholly different level. But what we are doing, you do not have to worry about that. Uh, we are coming up with uh, special bundles that we will be announcing in the coming days, uh, which will allow our customers to have that unlimited experience uh, without having too much. I, I wouldn't call it damage. I would call it an investment, right? Because the, it is value for money. So the experience that you're getting uh, is resulting uh, in you getting um, you progressing your digital life. So I consider it an investment rather than damage. But definitely the fact that it's faster uh, means that we have to construct something slightly different so that um, it brings a lot more value to our customers. So don't worry, Kasumba, we've got you.
And, and like I said, I am uh, 772431. Uh, I won't give the other numbers on air, so I've been with you for a very long time. Your picture is very good. It must be a 5G picture, is it? Yeah. Well, or maybe it's just because I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, I didn't see that coming. Thank you very much. I don't have those digits, so I'm younger than you, definitely. <laughs> that's, very, that's very clear. Sylvia Mulinga is uh, the CEO of MTN Uganda, uh, talking uh, 5G there. Now, away from that, Bugisu clan heads have endorsed Mike Jude Mudoma as the